I'm gonna be honest, I just got a horrible cold chill just walking up to these doors and it's still affecting me. Now you know what it is? Oh, Crematorium. Oh, <gasps> yes! What's up you guys? We got something extremely special for you today. We are currently trying to get onto the island of Gali Otak. Now basically, this is an actual gulag here in Croatia. Austria-Hungary used to send their anti-communist Russian captures and send them to this gulag. On the very first day, they had over 1,200 people arrive, where basically they were forced to work, they performed medical experiments on these people, and tens of thousands died here. The only trouble is, getting a boat who's brave enough to take us there. Let's go and try. Monica, so tell me a little bit more about Yugoslavia's Alcatraz here. You've been doing your research. Sure. What have you found? Okay, so in Croatian it's called Goliotok. In English it means naked island, means there's nothing on it. But basically they decided to use it for prison, to build a prison. And it was built uh, in 1949. So basically, uh, there was no way of escaping or, yeah, there, there was no way of turning back and they've lost uh, more than 400 people by suicide, natural death or homicide, doesn't matter. Basically, yeah, they didn't have uh, trials, they didn't, they didn't have anything, they would just decide who's ready for to, to go to prison and they would just send them there. And these people going to prison, I read, were mostly anti-communist sympathizers yeah. and political yeah. leaders that when didn't play along. When you don't agree with something, they would just send you there and that's your destiny. And that's just hard there work and more, torture. There was more than, uh, there was six, 16,101 person on that island. How many? 16,101 person. Does it have a death record of how many have died on the island? Well, it says 413, but I don't That's the start number. Let's I don't believe for a second that 16,000 people survived on that island yeah. after being sent there, especially during those times. Yeah. I mean, those were some rocky times. Astava just told me they ate uh, some meals just made from corn. And uh, um, how do you say? Afternoon, they only had uh, beans. That's it. Beans. And if you did anything wrong, anything, you can't eat anything at all. Yeah. Jesus. So, yeah. So the potential for spirit activity here is quite high. The only difficulty really is finding a boat that'll take us. Yeah. Huh? Because no one is actually willing to go there during the night. And we still don't know the reason why. This is freaking shocking. I found new information. So first campers, prisoners, uh, came to the island on July 7th, uh, 9th, uh, 1949. And there were around 1,200 people in one day. Wow. Yeah. And by the records, uh, there were between 16,000 and 32,000 prisoners. And um, by estimation from pre previous campers or previous prisoners, however you want to call them, there was there was around 400 to 4,000 deaths. deaths. Wow. So. Uh, around 15,000 <clears throat> of them, I don't know how they ca came to this number, 50,000 of them uh, died during the uh, Tito and Stalin, mm -hmm. yeah, when war. they were fighting, yeah, so Yugoslavian war and SSSR, SSSR were fighting, so yeah. So we're at number 400, 4,000 and 15,000. That's a lot of dead bodies. <laughs> Love. Yeah, <laughs> love is a little word for that. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. So yeah. there must be something there. There must be something there. Molim, dobar dan. Da, da, sam spremila sam broj, da. Dobro. Dobro, ali za dva sata bi se to produžilo. Mislim, da, da je moguće dva sata. Pa dobro, nije to problem. Da, da, nije frka uopće. Dobro. Znači, uh, možete samo pričekati, samo da, da pitam, da li, a šta su rekli za sutra? Aha. 
Aha. Dobro. Samo sekundicu, onda samo da pitam. She's asking if we want to go today because they were they are more capable of doing it today than tomorrow. Today, how long will it take us to get there? Do you think we could do it today? An hour and a half, probably. Uh, yeah, I we could. I mean, we could just smash this one out today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, call him. Call him. No, no. U redu. Ova evo sad sam pričala s njima. Rekli su da nam da može danas. How much? Ova šta onda znači oko oko sedam tamo da dođemo pred kraj. Dobro. Pa tako da, oko sedam. U redu. Vidimo se. Može. Može. Dženja. Ok, what's the deal? It's a deal. Ok, so what time do we have to be there for? Just show up as soon as possible. Like uh, she said uh, around 6.37, so they end up with all um, group tours. Ok. And we can, uh, for one hour it costs 400 kunas, if one extra hour it's 100 kunas more, so it's not yeah, much. Yeah, that's so easy. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Kunas, yeah. So, yeah. We're going to a freaking gulag, everybody fists in. Boom. Yeah. Let's smash this out tonight. You heard it here first, you guys. This is it. We are going to the gulag today, and we're going to give you the ghost hunt of a lifetime. So we're currently crossing over onto the island of Kirk. We have to make it to the very base of the island and meet with their skipper right before nightfall. He's going to get us onto the island roughly as the sun sets. We have only two hours, two hours on the island to ghost hunt this gulag. Now, if we miss our boat, we will be stranded there. I did pack food, supplies, and everything for worst case scenario. But, you know, accidents do happen. Right, so we just got into the town. We're making our way down to the coast. We're gonna meet the skipper, get on the boat, and get over to the prison island, start the ghost hunt. Um, again, it's unknown exactly how many people have died here, but we're talking between five to 10,000 people. I also wanna add, don't you just love this? <laughs> Look at this place, it's wild. So I'd like to add also, um, have you guys noticed that the rest of the crew, even with me gone, as of late, they've been doing a lot of islands and boating. I mean, honestly, keeping it true to the underground pirate crew, am I right? Speaking of underground pirate crew, we've arrived at sea at last. Hey there, are you friendly? Booty. Yeah, you're friendly. There are a lot of we need to here in Croatia. get um, to a boat. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I know. So, as everyone who watches my channel knows, when I'm out with the boys, we are known as the Underground Pirate Crew. How do you guys feel going on your first ever pirate mission to perform a ghost hunt and explore? I have a counter question. Are we in the Underground Pirate Crew now? I will make you <laughs> temporary members for the time being, but I do have to. Yes. I have to uh, get permission from the lads before they initiate new members. Let's see how you do on your first run. <laughs> I'm right? super excited. Once this we get on the water, it's yes. a whole nother story though. <laughs> I don't want to. I can't, I'm scared. How do you ever want to be a pirate? Uh, when I was a kid, when I wasn't afraid of everything. Yeah, I did. Well, guess what? Today you are honorary pirates. Captain Cook all the way. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> We're being pirates, what? What is a pirate without alcohol? Cheers. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so here's oh, our skipper. <laughs> no, he's not our skipper, he is our skipper. No. No, I was going to say the boat's a little small. Sitting, chilling, down there. Alright, I believe that's our skipper over there in the green shirt. Yep, here he is. And this is our pirate ship for the day. How you doing, pal? Hello. Hello. Not cheap. Ovako. Dogovorili smo se da na privatnu osobu račun na njegovo ime. You guys do realize we might actually be the first people to ever ghost hunt this gulag on this island. This is yeah. This is basically known as a tourist attraction, but we might be actually be the first ones. Yeah. Yeah. You yep. never know, they might actually be itching to talk to us so bad because no one ever has. I'm ready. 
I probably should add, by the way, this place is actually a tourist location during holiday seasons and visitors aren't allowed. The fact that this guy is doing us this favor, it's kind of a big deal. So we're not really supposed to be on the island, but we're getting in there. We're getting in there no matter what, this has to happen. And I do find that prisons, prisons tend to be the most active locations you can possibly go to. Now, this is more than a prison, this is a bloody gulag. Let's get on the boat. All right, we're about to set off. Let's do this, it's gonna be a long journey. But we are going to an island. Gotta get on my knees for a second. Way out there, between those two. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna feel good. I literally cannot believe we managed to pull this off. Me and the girls got onto this gulag. We only have a couple hours, but it'll be dark in about 15 minutes. This place, this place has never been ghost hunted before. Monica, can you please tell everybody a little bit about this place? What's it called? What was this place? Sure, uh, this place is called Goliotok. It was a concentration camp or prison, however you want to call it. And basically, uh, it was open in 1939. It was it worked until th um, December 30th of 1989, and then from now from then on, it's just ruins. So uh, the numbers are between 16,000 and 32,000 prisoners. The death numbers are between 400 and 4,000. Now, who were the main people that ran this camp? Wasn't it Tito and Stalin? Tito and Stalin, uh, whoever didn't agree with their rules or didn't obey them, they were just put here. So, I know a lot of people argue, right, that uh, Hitler was the most evil man on earth, but I'd like to argue back and say Stalin more than likely was because he killed about 10 times more than Hitler ever did. And we are literally now at a camp that was run by, in my opinion, the most evil man in the world. How does that make you guys feel, honestly? I don't know, uh, I don't know about Stalin, but Tito, he was mentioned in our stories, very, like a very, very good person. And this side of the story, we never actually heard. Oh, so yeah. you wouldn't this have is something heard? that was kept a really, really big secret. It was recently just known, I mean, not recently, but it ran so secretly, no one knew about it. No one knew that this actually existed while it worked, so. And nobody knew how many people were being slaughtered yeah. here. Yeah. That's dark. Let's go inside and check these buildings out. What do you say, guys? You want to check this building first? It seems to go in. I just uh, seen something coming. It's dark inside. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. These are like the old doors, the old steel doors. It's as if once you come in here, you ain't getting out. And thousands of people never did get off of this island. I wouldn't be surprised if there are mass uh, burials here as well, mass graves. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. And yet, it is kind of dark in there. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, I just got a horrible cold chill just walking up to these doors, and it's still affecting me. Oh shit. Do you oh, feel that? 
Oh, Jesus, that is some dark energy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Too dark. That is some seriously dark energy. That was like two footsteps. The sun isn't set to set in about 15 minutes. Hello? Okay, just a reminder, guys. We are three only people on this island. Mm -hmm. And the driver guy. And he's in the boat. We are the only three people on this island right now. Oh, my God. That roof doesn't sound pretty safe. Let's try and get through this. Wait, everybody stop for a sec. We gotta at least say this, and if one of you could say this in Croatian, even though I don't think the prisoners here even spoke Croatian, it's worth a shot. I just wanna let you know, the spirits here, as the night falls, we come in peace, and only with desire to help you. Okay. So if you could please come forward and try to communicate tonight, I promise we'll do everything we can. These tracks show a cart, which means that I, I can almost guarantee they had prisoners working during the day in places like this, pushing some kind of freight back and forth, probably onto other boats coming in and out of the island. What in there? Oh, we were just in? Yeah, there. the light on my eyes, I think. Sorry. Is there somebody in there? Wait, did you hear that? There was a knock. Moved again. What move? What are you looking at? I thought it was my my light. If there's somebody in here, give us a sign. Please do something. What was that? What? If there's someone in here, please give us a sign. What the hell? Oh, this looks like some kind of assembly room where they brought the prisoners in first. Yeah. Oh, careful there. Sorry. What in the world did they do here? These look like... Placements for desks, maybe? I don't know. It's a dining area. Okay, yeah, I can see it. It could be. It, to me, it also kind of, kind of resembles some kind of processing area. I don't know. Yeah. This is not safe here, so I'm going to move under here. What the hell is all this? Wait a second. Hang on a minute. I don't know, they look like cells. Something up here, though. I don't know what it's for. 
I think they used to drop minerals, some kind of material or stone through this chute, probably from a mine further up. Okay. And then the workers will probably all be shackled here and be forced to work with the, work with the rocks and whatnot, breaking open rocks and things. Makes sense, yeah. Seriously guys, can you imagine being a prisoner just for your beliefs? being forced to work in these humid, hot temperatures, right here where there's no fence even on the water, knowing full well you cannot escape. There are watchtowers all over, by the way. But on top of not being able to escape, none of those islands around are inhabited and you wouldn't make it without some kind of flotation device, but you'd just get shot anyway. It's just pure hopelessness. Oh, crap, I wonder what this was for. I don't know. I have no idea. Again though, I get that funny feeling when I get close to the entrance. You know how they need to concentrate? What's that? What's what? Up. This? What's that? I don't know what that is. But there's another big building right over here. Oh, I just got a cold chill running through me at the thought of entering that door. Right. I heard first footsteps behind me. What was that? I just heard footsteps. I heard... Uh... Oh, Hello? Oh Come on. I don't like this room. Whoa, 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 get in here and listen. Listen, 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 stop. What is that machinery running? Do you hear it? We gotta get down here. Is there any other way? I don't know, but this ain't too bad. Hold this for me for a second. <coughs> Just film it in case I die. like machinery running. What the hell is that supposed to be? I don't know, wait. Well, I just heard something clink off of it. Oh, it's an old generator. Maybe a freezer. No, it's an old freezer. What, what would they need a freezer this size for? With railing in it. No, you know what it is? Oh, crematorium. <gasps> yes! The, um, the ashes. Oh. Put the body, inflame yeah. it. And you guys, are you like... feeling a really cold breeze all of a sudden? Yeah, I know. It was so hot and now it's cold. Are we in an actual crematorium? Mm -hmm. Oh shit, here's this cold spot. Yeah. I oh. Think are. Because this makes no sense. You, do you need you need oxygen to burn a freaking fire? There's a body. Yeah, I think you're right. This is an old crematorium. I cannot believe that. It would make sense. It would be all the way out here too. Sorry. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, this is where the switch to turn it on would be. What? What's the matter? Oh my god. Jesus. Uh, oh wait. Get in. Yeah, go in. I want to see. It's familiar to me. Uh, I know it smells like shit though. Oh, well, it's uh, that long. Yeah. So you think they maybe just stored the bodies in here, pushed them through here to be... Probably. Processed and... You and see, burned. this is just walled off, so maybe they would, they would just throw them in from here. Makes sense. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. There was a knock. Come yes. here. Come here. Come here. You guys. Hello? There was a knock behind me. There was a voice, too. Okay, so seeing as we're at the crematorium, in fact, actually face that way and stand back. I'm going to get in the crematorium for this. All right, seeing as we're at the crematorium, I think this is the perfect spot to do a spirit box while we're here. We're running out of time fast. This island was so much bigger than I thought. I'm going to try and make contact with someone or anything. Hello? Hello? Hello, sir? Do you speak English, yes or no? I heard nah. 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 I heard yeah. I heard no. Two times. In Croatian? Oh, Two okay. times. Uh, somebody, just say it out loud. Da li možda Hrvatski? They speak Croatian. Da. Yeah. Okay, can you please ask them, did you die here on this island? Da li si umrlo, umro ili umrla ovdje? Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Ok, yes, yes, yes. Da li nam možeš svoje ime? Can you tell us your name? Mate. Mate? Mate, I heard two, two times. times. Two times. <clears throat> Mate. Mate? It's like normal name here in Croatia. Old name. It's like you call someone Matt. Okay. That's um, fun. can you ask why they were here? Da li nam možeš reći zašto si bio ovdje? No. Guys, the day I come back to Croatia, I'm going to get this island for the whole day, okay? If you would like to see that, you have to hit the like button and let me know if you want to see me come back, maybe with the boys, and do this island ourselves. Sail out here on our own in a boat and do the entire island to ourselves. Now, I hope you enjoyed the Croatia series, but this is the last video of the Croatia series. I'm going back tomorrow. So, everyone, actually, by the time you're watching this, I've already made it back. So you're going to start seeing more videos with the crew. And I'd again like to inform you, subscribe to Project Dark Side. These lovely ladies are the reason I was able to come here and do a whole month tour. Well, basically, you guys let me live with y'all. It was pretty sick, actually. Our roommate. Yeah, we were roommates for a month. It was absolutely awesome. Make sure to go subscribe to Project Dark Side. Project spelled with a K. And welcome to the family. Thank you. Smash this video right here as well. If you want to see a banger, don't even think about it. Just smash it and I'll end it as we always do. Three, two, one. Do, do you, you believe, believe yet? yet?